And British Prime Minister David Cameron tells the United Nations General Assembly that the recent popular revolt of the Arab Spring presents a massive opportunity to promote democracy and prosperity. But he also criticises the government of Yemen and Syria for their treatment of their people. British Prime Minister David Cameron used his speech to the United Nations General Assembly on Thursday to praise the recent popular revolts of the Arab Spring. Last week, I was in Tripoli and Benghazi. I saw the hunger of a people eager to get on with reclaiming their country, writing themselves a new chapter of freedom and democracy. This has been the most dramatic episode of what has been called the Arab Spring. Cameron told the world body that the recent uprisings in Libya, Tunisia and Egypt are opportunity for democracy in other nations. The Arab Spring is a massive opportunity to spread peace, prosperity, democracy and vitally security, but only if we really seize the opportunity. But just as he dished out praise for those countries, he was critical of how the governments of Yemen and Syria have cracked down on their pro-democracy demonstrators and, in the case of Syria, called for the United Nations Security Council to act. UN, we have a responsibility to stand up against regimes that persecute their people. We need to see reform in Yemen and, above all, on Syria. It is time for the members of the Security Council to act. We must now adopt a credible resolution threatening tough sanctions. Some Security Council members, like Russia, have so far balked at the new round of actions against Syria. Of course, we should always act with care when it comes to the internal affairs of a sovereign state. But we cannot allow this to be an excuse for indifference in the face of a regime that week after week arrests, intimidates, tortures and kills people who are peacefully trying to make their voices heard. The United Nations General Assembly debate continues until September 27th.